Howdy. In this video, I'm going to talk about appendicitis, the real reason we have an appendix, how this problem develops, and a few really nifty cool tricks that you can do to improve your digestive system. Now, down below in the YouTube description, there's a link. I'm giving away a free video guide all about shopping for dietary supplements. It talks about 10 warning signs of a bad product that could hurt you. It talks about the herbal remedies to consider, what to avoid, and uh, a lot more cool stuff like even some bizarre alternative health strategies that work that will probably blow you away. So it's a lot of fun. Now appendicitis is a condition in which case the appendix gets all inflamed and uh, usually occurs in children but can happen to anybody of any age. Now the fascinating thing with appendicitis is that the smartest p people in the medical community are not sure what the appendix actually does. Now most doctors do agree that removing it uh, is not going to bring about any negative uh, health effects. Now, I remember when I was a kid my stomach started to like, hurt very badly. And I told my parents and my dad was like, oh just toughen up, you know, don't be a baby, it's a stomach ache and <laughs> it'll go away and it did go away and finally after lots of crying and you know throwing fits and making my parents life miserable because my life was miserable they finally took me to a hospital and it turned out I had appendicitis and I don't remember if it burst in me or if it almost burst in me but I specifically remember being told that if I waited a few more days some very bad things could happen to me and I could have died so the whole lesson of the story is if uh, you feel for a split second that something's really wrong with your health don't wait, go see a doctor, don't toughen it up, don't be a tough guy because it's not good. Now there's a few theories on why the body even has this organ and it really comes down to, I really feel it serves some type of positive function and because whether you believe in religion or not, evolution had to play some type of role in the development of human beings. It's just, it's just had to and we're a survival species, it's fascinating if you look at our immune system and everything has some type of purpose. I mean, do you really think that there's some type of organ that just sits there, takes up space with no positive function? I don't. Um, but I could be wrong. Now, one idea is that it helps the immune system. Now, I don't mean to break, knock on wood, I rarely ever get sick, so I'm not sure if I buy into that. Another theory about it is that the organ is used to help break down uh, the bark of trees, and that maybe when we're, you know, our ancestors thousands of years ago ate tree bark or something and it helped that's what it was used for which makes a little more sense to me because again we're survival machines um, but oh bummer I, I can't eat tree bark now I'm, I'm so sad I'm really missing out so what's your thoughts about that what do you think the whole function of the appendix is please leave a comment if you have one now even more interesting is the physicians the smartest people out there are not even sure what causes the appendicitis really uh, they have a few ideas, a really popular idea is a piece of fecal matter or, or waste gets stuck and blocks the entrance um, of this organ. Then a whole bunch of bad bacteria gets involved and it grows, it gets all inflamed and uh, it causes the pain. So it's the first symptom, yeah, it's going to be some pain. Uh, it usually starts in the central area of the stomach and very shortly it kind of works its way down to the lower right side. And do you know why it works, works its way down? That's where the appendix is. And uh, the pain is going to come and go. That's how I remember it being, I think. And uh, see here. I remember the pain was so bad for me. I was like curled up as like a little ball in the bathroom. Whippering. And uh, the reason I was curled up in a ball because if you move at all, it's going to increase the pain. Probably because the thing's so big, it's like probably touches their body parts and send signals of pain. And if you touch the areas, definitely going to bring, bring about more pain and there will give you some bowel problems like diarrhea, constipation as the body tries to help itself. Other very common symptoms could be feeling sick, nausea, like wanting to throw up, not wanting to eat. Or and also, I uh, can't forget about uh, hating life because uh, you're in a lot of agony. Now, if it's not removed, the organ will continue to get bigger and even burst. And if it bursts, that's very, very bad because all this bad bacteria and stuff flies all over the body, causing real harm and even death. So can you guess what a big thing someone can do to prevent this health problem would be? Well, it is improving the digestive system. Now, I know what you're thinking. 
Yeah, Kevin, <laughs> a little bit of diarrhea, constipation, but man, those uh, those burgers and those fried chicken or whatever, it's so good, those donuts, you know. My weakness is Taco Bell, but uh, according to the uh, U.S. Senate, Senate Committee on Nutrition, nearly all diseases are, are caused by di digestive problems. Pretty shocking, right? What do you think about that? Is that true? I think that's not true. All I can say is that I could be right. Now, when we're born, we actually have these enzymes to help break down food. The problem is that we're supposed to replenish these enzymes through, well, through food. That's where we get them from, like fresh food, like fruits and vegetables. The problem is a lot of us eat processed meats and foods, and we cook the food, and if it kills these enzymes, we don't get them. And, well, it hurts our digestive system and our health. Another huge element of the digestive system is something called bacteria. Contrary to what some people believe, not all bacteria is bad. There's actually good bacteria in your intestines right now fighting off the bad guys. And if the bad bacteria wins, it can lead to all types of health problems, um, even cancer and stuff. So, well, now one really cool tip to help your good bacteria is something called prebiotics. Have you ever heard of it before? Nope, it's not the stuff in yogurt. That's probiotics. It's completely different. Prebiotics is actually natural. Probiotics is man-made. And the prebiotic stuff is actually 10 times better than the stuff in yogurt. It's a great tip there for you. If you want to learn a lot more tips about improving your digestive system through supplements and alternative health, uh, again, I highly recommend check, click on that link below this video. Check out that free video guide. It's a lot of fun, a lot of really cool stuff in there. I, I really think you're going to enjoy it and you're going to benefit a lot from it. I hope that this video helped a few people out there. I hope you learned a couple things you didn't know and maybe I was somewhat entertaining. <laughs> Odd to believe. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, leave, please leave a comment with your thoughts and have a great, awesome rest of your day.